Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a good old fashioned haul. I've got high end, I've got drugstore, I've got hair, I've got makeup, I mean I've got hair. I have got hair. I've got hair stuff. I've got makeup, I've got skincare, I've got something for everybody. So let's get started. So I'm going to start off with the, the hair care. I definitely want to do a video on this stuff. So this is the Umberto Giannini um, Grow Long Root Stimulating Shampoo and Conditioner. So this stuff was all on 3 for 2 in Boots. So I also got the Grow Tonic, which is like a scalp treatment. And all of these products are designed and claim to grow longer, stronger hair faster. Now, my hair is not the longest, it's definitely not the strongest. This is what I'm working with right now, so it's kind of down to like, right at the top of my boobs, um, and it is quite fine. Um, yeah, and this is about the maximum length that my hair will grow, it will never grow any longer, so I thought I would give it a try, mainly, I mean, I fully do not expect this to work whatsoever, but the smell, is to die for. It smells like a macchiato. That's what it smells like. It is a gorgeous smell. It's got black coffee in it, which is why it says that it's obviously stimulating. But yeah, I 100% am gonna be doing a review of this stuff and showing you guys. I'm gonna try it until it's all gone and then we'll see if I've had any hair growth. Hopefully, on my head. So yeah, that was all three for two in Boots. Umberto Giannini is pretty much my favorite hair care brand. It seems as that's pretty much everything I buy. It smells amazing. I think they're really nice products and three for two. I seem to have had to stock up on a lot of skincare lately, which really hurts me because it is like expensive and it's not like instant gratification, you know? It's not like you buy a lipstick, you put it on and you're like living life. It's, you know, it's boring stuff to buy. For me but it has to be done it has to be it's essential so i got a replacement ordinary retinol so previously i was using their one percent retinol and squalene and i tried a different one this time i'm purchasing the granactive retinoid five percent so this is supposed to give you better results than the retinol i was using before from them but with less irritation i didn't get a huge amount of um irritation a slight bit of like you know, not even soreness, just maybe redness or like sensitivity, I guess, with when I used a lot of it every day. Um, so that wasn't my main kind of motivation for buying this. I just wanted to try a different one. And this is supposed to be more like the strongest as far as retinol results. So that is the one I'm trying. I'll let you know if I notice any difference. Um, and then I also replaced my AHA BHA peeling solution. So this is a chemical exfoliant from The Ordinary. You can't see me ever not using this. I love it. The results are incredible and instant results. I just have nothing bad to say about it. So as soon as I started running low, I needed a replacement because I use this at least twice a week. Um, I don't use it on the same days. So I use retinol, I like alternate but I am obsessed with it. It makes your skin look amazing, so smooth, feels incredible. I just think it's amazing price and very effective. And I also replaced my Clinique Repair Wear Laser Focus Eye Cream. This is my favorite ever eye cream. Oh, it smells lovely. I don't really know what to tell you about it. It's not that exciting. It's an eye cream. It's my favorite one. This is my third pot now and it really is the only very expensive like skincare item that I buy that is how much I rate that eye cream everything else I keep really affordable but that is my like splurge item my eye cream um so yeah I highly recommend giving that one a go so next a bit of an odd purchase for me but I picked up a double wear foundation in the shade tawny um which is like my winter shade it's still white light for me right now like I put it on the other day and I was like mm, blimey um but yeah in a, in a few weeks this will be my shade so I picked this up from the cosmetics company uh, discount store at Clark's Village they never have my shade I always like to have a double wear this was 10 pounds off so usually the RRP is 33.50 and this was 23.50 I'm not a huge fan of double wear the original it's much too matte 
and flat for me personally in my taste you know i like luminous dewy foundations and this is obviously the farthest point from that however i do always like to have double wear in my collection because it serves one purpose better than any other foundation and that is the complete immovable impenetrable lasting quality of it so for that purpose i always like to have it around because especially in the winter if you're going out on a freezing day and it's hoofing with rain and you're going you know to a children's play area and everyone's rubbing themselves on you this is probably the only foundation known to man that will last you still for like 24 hours until you take off looking perfect so i do like to have it in stock for those reasons and at like two thirds of the price why wouldn't you so next up i had a bit of a little beauty bay haul and i know that people are going to tell me off because i picked up two of the jeffree star liquid lipsticks and i know i said i wasn't gonna buy them anymore i failed you however i had always already planned to get these two shades because i love christmas packaging and i don't really as far as these types of products at christmas collections i collect them so I don't necessarily care whether or not I'm going to wear these or really enjoy these because I mainly get them for like the packaging and just to have them in my collection because they are just absolutely stunning. You just look at that. So that all of that glitter and sparkle is the packaging, not like the product. So I picked up the shades Jeffrey Who, which is this gorgeous like rosewood shade. I have swatches of these, like lip swatches of these on my Instagram if you wanna see them on my lips. And this is the shade Scandal. Now Scandal does have a few flecks of glitter in it, but they really don't show or notice on their lips. They are just beautiful shades. I will say that I've worn Scandal for like a whole day out and it was very comfortable. It was drying, which is the reason why I said I don't want to buy liquid lipsticks anymore because by the end of the day, my lips were feeling quite dry. But they look good, they look nice. They are incredible formula as far as liquid lipsticks go. You guys know they aren't my favorite thing, but as far as this packaging, oh, the traffic today is killing me. I'm so sorry if you can hear all the road noise. It's quite annoying but yeah as far as just i just really wanted this packaging and to have it in my collection because i just think it's so pretty and beautiful and i love collecting christmas um collections that was catchy so when i said i wasn't buying any more liquid lipsticks we're starting again from now okay starting again now no more just the christmas ones the christmas ones are fine they don't count I also picked up one of Jeffree's lip liners and this is in the shade, is it red rum? Yes, red rum. So this is his red shade. This packaging is just amazing. It's a lovely formula. I bought this this month because I also picked up this lipstick from Pat McGrath, which I'm obsessed with. So this is the shade Elson. This is the lipstick that everybody on my Instagram was asking me about. It's like my first ever proper red lipstick. I've never liked red lipstick. I didn't want to know. So this is Elson next to Red Rum. They go perfectly together. Absolutely gorgeous. Both of the formulas in these products are amazing. If you don't know about Pat McGrath lipsticks, they will cost you, you know, a small mortgage on a flat. But I get it. Again, there are pictures of me wearing um, this lipstick if you want to see it on me, but it is what everybody has been asking me about because I posted a couple pictures on my Instagram and it is very unusual for me to be wearing a red lipstick. In fact, it's never happened before. So I was just desperate to one, try the formula and two, to give red lipstick a go and people have been loving it. I'm still a little bit afraid of it, but I've been getting great comments. And the people know, people know, you guys know, you know you know if you guys don't know my husband actually went to australia for a conference and he travels a lot in the winter and every time he comes home he brings me a present from duty free and he picked me up another one of the powder kiss lipsticks and this is the shade sweet no sugar this also has that weird like new car smell and this is just a really gorgeous pale 
peachy pink I'm gonna say. Right now on me I need to use this with a lip liner and I use my Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in Pink Venus which works stunningly with that one um, but yeah and again in a few weeks when I am fully in my winter skin I'll probably wear that by itself. I also picked up Max Twig myself he did not bring me this. This was a back to Mac for me this month. This is what I've got on my lips right now and I'm obsessed with it. It is just the perfect winter like mauve shade. It works really beautifully with the Huda New Nude palette which is like all I've had on my eyes since I picked that up. It's just nice to have a bit of dark, like a darker shade on my lips I think in the winter. I, t I tend to reach for darker colours um, against like my paler skin and that is like the one I've been reaching for the most recently. Oh, I forgot something from my Beauty Bay haul. This was the OPI nail polish. This is from the Nutcracker collection and it is Lavender to find courage and it is what I've got on my nails right now. I am obsessed with this colour. I feel like OPI nail polishes can be really hit and miss. Like you get some that are incredible formula wise and others that come really sheer and a bit streaky and hard to work with. On the scale of OPI nail polishes, I will say this is right at the top. This is like two coats and full, full opacity. I've had this on for like four or five days since I got it and there is like literally no chipping whatsoever. I've had baths, I dyed my hair, I've had like numerous showers, I've been in the gym, like it is not chipped, it is all perfect and it is just a nice, if you're looking for like a lavender nail polish, I've been looking for this exact shade for years and it is perfection. Last but not least, another little gift for my husband in duty free. So this is the Mineral Light Mineralize blush in the shade Sweet Enough from MAC. I've had my eye on this for ages. This is the blush that I've got on today. It's just the perfect smoky mauve shade, like a dusky rose type of shade. And these blushes are like my favorite formula of blushes of all time. They're described as being matte, but to me, they have a really luminous finish. This formula is totally buildable. This particular shade is one of their lightest shade, if not the lightest shade. So it won't work on deeper skin. Like this is it like built up. On my sort of summer tan skin, this is a light wash of color. So I think medium to tan is the deepest that this shade particularly would work for. It's totally customizable. So you can have a really soft flush of color or you can really build it up for a bit of a punch. This will definitely work for lighter skin tones with a light hand. Um, for medium skin tones like me, this can be you know soft or built up. For deep skin tones, I don't think it will really do much for you. I don't think it will show up much for you. But there are lots of shades and the formula is amazing. I have like four or five of these now and I love every single one. They're just so easy to work with. A beautiful, luminous, natural finish on the skin. And this is potentially like my favorite shade yet. Again, it works really nicely with the Huda eyeshadow that I'm wearing now. I'm going for lots of like plummy mauve shades right now. I'm just loving those tones. So there you have it. That is everything that I picked up in the last week or so. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please come back so we can see each other again. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye-bye.